Hello, everybody. The post-22 baseball team has gotten off to an 8-6 and six start this season. Tonight, the Hard Hats hit the diamond to take on Gillette. Now, the Rough Riders entered this game with a strong 19-5 and five record. In the third inning, we're tied at two with two on. Gillette's Jared Black smacks one deep to right. This ball gets to the wall. Two runs come in to score as the big hit by Black gives the Riders the lead. Bottom of the third, post 22's Tate Crossway hammers one deep to right center. Next stop, Rapid Creek as this ball is gone for a two run shot. The big blast by Crossway evens things up. Fourth inning with one on. Dominic Decker lines the pitch into left field. That gets down. He checks in at second with a double. Gillette scored a run on a ground out. Mason Drewby then goes the other way. Lines one into right field. A little trouble bobbling the ball out there. That allows Dominic Decker to cross the plates. These teams played a great game tonight. Post 22 battles back to win it 8 to 7. On the high school baseball diamond, Stevens rolled away 17 nothing victory over Douglas. Sturgis got shut out by T at 15 to nothing. Hot Springs is taking on the Central JV squad. Bison lead that one 10 to 7. In high school softball, Spearfish won a slugfest against Rapid City Central 13 to 10. Luke Rupert and Leighton Aves are delivering an impressive season for the Hill City track and field team. Andrew Lynn has more with our Gustafson Builders Athletes of the Week. Hill City track seniors Luke Rupert and Leighton Aves are less than two weeks away from finishing a seven-year running career together. To reach the heights they have, it's required a lot of time and effort. Cross country in the fall and right into track in the spring. It's seven days a week, uh, sometimes twice a day. Uh, you start for cross country, we start in June and we go until practice starts in August, just kind of on our own. And then we do another month and a half of training after state for the, uh, or another month for the Nike Heartland meet out in Sioux Falls. This spring, the duo has been very successful with each of them breaking records. Rupert broke his own school record in the two mile by 14 seconds at 919.71, while Aves was a part of the school record setting 4x800 relay team in a time of 8.05. You're up there with relative to the other people in the state. You can contend for the higher places at the state meet and then you hit the 15s and it's kind of a totally different game because you know you're competing for that number one spot. Uh, I wouldn't say we were chasing to break the record, but I would just say that um, we knew we could after last year's season because we weren't losing anyone. We knew we were going to be fast, but. We just went into it with the mindset is we're going to run fast and because of that we will break the record. With the state track in Sioux Falls just around the corner, the Rangers feel as if they have a good chance to make the podium when the weekend is over. As a whole team, we are looking, we were kind of surprised by how well we were doing. We've got a lot of good relay times, we've got a lot of good distance runners, so we're thinking kind of out of nowhere, we could have a pretty good performance at the state meet. So, schools looking at you, and you know, especially for our distance program, that has a lot of big schools looking at you like, oh, they're probably going to be good, and you just got to live up to that expectation, I guess. Reporting with the Rangers in Hill City, I'm Andrew Land. Thank you very much, Andrew, and congrats to that Hill City duo on being our Gustafson Builders Athletes of the Week. NBA playoff tonight, Celtics beat the Cavs 113-98 to win that series in five games. So Boston moves on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Major League Baseball twins came up on the short end today, losing to the Yankees for nothing. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back.